I'm sorry. I had to fix my calculator just a little bit. So I actually am going to write down some of those values from my table just so I can show you. Being that we already solved our now, being that we already solved our we can just easily look at our equation that we wrote earlier and say, hey, our slope is negative one half. But I just want to show you how to do it on a table real quick. So I'm going to copy down a couple of the values from our table. And then if you notice, our y values are going down by one each time. And our x values are going up by 2 each time. So our slope is our change in y, which was down 1, over our change in x, which is up 2. So down 1, up 2. What does the slope mean? Well, if y represents our videos and x represents our songs, our slope means that Every time, if we wanted to add two more songs, we would be going down a video. You understand? So let's say we wanted to buy 14 videos. And, but then we say we change our mind and we decide we wanted to buy 13 videos. Every time we go down by one video, we are able to get two more songs. Every time we purchase one less video, we're able to purchase two more songs. That's what our slope means. What is our y-intercept? Even though I didn't copy my graph, you can look at your graph that you have on your table. Your y-intercept is at the point 0, 14. That point means that at that point, I'm sorry, 0 represents songs. So if you purchase zero songs, zero number of songs, you can buy 14 videos. Same thing happens if you look at your x-intercept. Your x-intercept is at the point twenty-eight comma zero. This means that you can purchase 28 songs, but you wouldn't purchase any video, so zero videos. Okay, so back up here where it says possible solutions and which are not solutions and which are solutions, use your equation. Show me how you know that this point here can actually be plugged into your equation and come out to be 42. So let's plug in two thirteens per dollar and 50 cents. Per 50 is $3, plus 3 times 13 is $39, equals a total of $42. So this is how I know that that's a solution. Okay? What is not a possible solution? Well, let's see. Let's plug in $1.50 plus 3 videos. So this time we're going to buy 3 songs, and we'll still buy 13 videos. And let's see if that is equal to 42 $1.50 times 3 is $4.50, plus this is still 39 That is equal to $33.50. $43.50, excuse me. So is that equal to 42 No, that is not a solution. 